Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part 12 of the Scum 0.8 Handbook. And in today's video, I am going to do an in-depth guide of the power plant. Okay, there's a lot of things that have changed with the power plant. So it is more difficult in many ways, depending on what server you play on. But I am going to try and prepare you guys for any server. Okay, if you play on an official server, it will be mu much, much easier than if you play on Survival Evolved, and it will be a ton easier if you um, play on the single player settings that I gave you. The single player settings that I gave you is going to be very, very difficult for a new player, which I'm going to showcase to you today. And of course, if you try this on the meat grinder, it will even be worse okay so i've already loaded a pistol with with rounds i took the m16 loaded that with rounds and one thing you want to do before you go to the power plant is be very prepared okay one thing you must realize is you will not be able to run at the power plant you cannot run anymore with um, with the hazmat suit on and that makes puppets very 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 dangerous okay so let's just start to go crazy here um, it is night time wait 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 I can activate the night vision okay so that you guys can see what's going on here there we go so now we can see what's going on And of course, the pistol has a suppressor on, the gun doesn't. So if I shoot the gun without a suppressor, the suicide puppet's gonna come to me. Just press R to reload it. Check what firing mode I'm on. That's burst, I wanna be on single fire mode. And now you'll see the suicide puppet. Or more, because we made a lot of noise. Here we go. Okay. So you guys can definitely see the difference between a suppressed gun and an unsuppressed gun. They will go to where I made the noise. So I'm just setting them up. I could have waited for that puppet to get a bit closer. You can always make a noise where there's a lot of puppets. Run out of that location. Wait for all the puppets to be on top of each other and then blow them up with a suicide puppet, okay? That's always an option. But now, but a, 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 a very loud weapon also has another function. It makes sure that the area is clear. <clears throat> Maybe not of players, but definitely puppets, okay? Um, so if you don't want to be surprised by a puppet, or you don't know where all the puppets are, it's not a bad idea going into a house, you know, making a lot of noise, letting all the puppets come to the window so you can sort that out. As you guys can see, I completed the light armor. The light has now got all the light armor on it, which is really, really, really cool. And we are going to focus on screwdrivers today. Bobby pins is never difficult to find, but screwdrivers is quite difficult to find okay so before i go to the power plant i'm gonna want at least like i haven't lock picked in a while so you know the less you practice lock picking the more screwdrivers you're gonna need so i'm gonna need at least 80 to 100 and at the moment i've only got three five um, seven, eight, um, that's about eight. You guys can see I'm still wearing the clothing that we repaired. Doesn't really matter. So I just want to, just want to check here quickly. Uh, if we've got any screwdrivers in here. We did pick up a lot of um, toolboxes at the quarry. Okay, I looted the quarry. 
and the northern quarry and i got three toolboxes and two vehicle repair kits was a very very lucky run and then of course we just you know i didn't even use the vhs2 because i don't like it um but i'd like to get some more five uh, i'd like to get some more magazines not really ammo like i've got enough ammo for four magazines a magazine takes 30 rounds so i've already got 60 rounds and then four times three is 120 rounds which should be enough and then i want two two magazines in my pistol okay but screwdrivers is the priority at the moment so what i'm gonna do now is look for screwdrivers first way to get screwdrivers is the cargo drop we have got enough equipment for the cargo drop the cargo drop can give us a yellow screwdriver the cargo drop can give us red screwdrivers um, but for now i'm gonna go back to the quarry just loot the quarry very very quickly go to the southern quarry because there's one one building there that i can quickly loot and maybe get a yellow and um, two i can go to the city guys but i rather go to the motocross track the motocross track is my go-to place and if i'm not successful yet i'll go and scan the scrapyard for some yellows as well okay you can find yellows in the city but you know i'm not in the mood for the city at the moment so i'm just going to do a smooth route i'm going to go down to the northern quarry loot the northern quarry loot the southern quarry loot the little airfield where i can get red screwdrivers maybe just pop into the naval base because you can get a yellow screwdriver at the submarine entrance you can get lucky there with the yellow screwdriver then go to the motocross track and then go to the um, the scrapyard then get my hazmat suit at the b0 bunker because the b0 bunker has got a hazmat suit locker in it and then we're gonna take on this power plant which i know has a heck of a lot of puppets and as you know they do a lot of damage so that's where the guide will begin when you know i give you guys tips on how to handle this Okay, I'm done with the northern quarry. What I usually just do is search the two vehicle repair shops. Okay, then I come up here, search that building at the top, search the building at the bottom, and the, that one there. That, that's it. Then I'm gone. You can search the rest, but this is just the you know this is just a cr quick routes that I've learned. And the ones at the top didn't really give me anything, but again, these two vehicle repair shops gave me two toolboxes and another vehicle repair kit, which is quite nice. Yeah um don't know if i'm lucky or if they upped the loot spawns because we are on vanilla loot but yeah again we're going to go to the southern quarry because i've only got one building that i'm going to loot there then we're going to go to the airfield um then the motocross track then the trader just to you know buy the ammo that we want and the magazines that we want um, then the other airfield, because the other little air, airfield, that will give us screwdrivers as well. Scrapyard, and that's the plan. Okay, guys, done with the southern quarry. All I basically do is I loot that building, that building, and that building, which is roughly the same as the northern quarry. Okay? And that's it. What did I get? A metal saw, a trainer's axe, and another toolbox. So not shabby at all and it's very 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 fast except if you're on a pvp server then of course you're going to park a little bit further away okay but let's go okay we're done with a, a little airfield and i can fill my car up here because this is how you fill up airplanes but you can fill up your car as well always a nice side stop then I want to eat some bread. And yeah, we got vehicle repair kit, airplane kit. I counted 13 screwdrivers, Bushman, Gaga counter, and a motor motorbike. Motorbike, motorcycle jacket. Let's get my carbs up again. That's fine. We can eat the rest later. And yeah, yellows are going to make a major difference can't get into your car just nudge it forward just take it out of the placement that it was in 
And guys, I do feel that without night vision, it's better at night. It's it's easier for me to not hit things at night when I'm driving with my lights on. I know it's safer to drive with night vision, but I mean, if you don't want to hit every rock in existence, this is better to see rocks than this. Okay? That, like this, everything seems the same color. Like this, everything doesn't seem the same color. Much easier way to go, okay? And we can get we can get to the naval base quite quickly. But I'll let you know if I I'll, I'll guys I'll show you guys the quick route that I take. Okay, so here I am at the first. Um, you guys have seen me show you this route. Here we are at the first um, entrance with a submarine. And remember, guys, my focus isn't my focus isn't to go and lock pick the lockers in, inside there. My focus is to accumulate screwdrivers, not to use screwdrivers, okay? Accumulate screwdrivers and money. That's it. The night vision is already very good money. So I'm going to search that. I'm not going to use one screwdriver. You can find yellow screwdrivers in here. Weapon repair kit. This place is absolutely awesome. Phenomenal loot, especially if you loot the entire place. Then it's really phenomenal. Looks like I'm a bit thirsty. Let's drink all here. And you guys can see I'm mo I'm going very fast. I'm moving very, 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 very fast. Okay? Very little time for someone to catch me off guard. Okay? Very, very little time for someone to catch me off guard. Just remember to take the duct tape. You need a lot of duct tape when you go into the... That's one thing I forgot about. You need a heck of a lot of duct tape when you go into the into the power plant because every time a puppet hits you, he's going to damage your hazmat suit. And the more damage that the puppets do, you know, the more it's going to damage you. Okay. So now, this is a bit trickier. But I'm going to still do it the safe way. Okay. Still going to do it the safe way. really care if they hear me still gonna do it the way I always do it then I'm gonna get out my gun crouch down it's better to get into the jail cell immediately because then you can't get hit you can't get hit on the back of the head and like i say crouching down down helps a lot but now that you're in the jail cell much easier and we just made a lot of money this is vanilla loot guys we just made a heck of a lot of money okay heck of a lot of money Probably going to get some night vision as well with a lucky streak that we're having. No night vision. Okay, that's surprising. There's a full size... There's a full size vest. Which is excellent. It's not the wrong color, but I mean, I don't mind. There's a brand new helmet. Okay. I just want to... Yes, I want to crouch, but I don't want to crawl through here. I want to search these three. There's the right jacket. That's actually a jacket that I want. I'll take that one to sell it. 
And I haven't opened up a locker, guys. Please remember, I haven't opened up a locker. Now, here is where things get optional. What I'm going to do now is optional. I don't get very lucky um, with, like, yellow screwdrivers in su with what I'm going to do now. But I'm still going to try it. I'm still going to try it. Okay, going to take some unnecessary risks here. Okay, now I'm going to loot all the all these things on the outside. Which, as you can clearly see, is not the safest thing in the world to do. So I just have to get the aggro off me. See, like I say, this is not necessary. What I did right bef right up to this point was enough. I can get out now. Okay? I'm just showing you guys the extra option and that it's not that dangerous. And again, you know, even if you don't find a screwdriver, you'll find something. Probably something that's useful. Always like to be aware of my surroundings. There's two screwdrivers, better than nothing. That wasted time, clicking it miss. We have to focus on vision. If they see us, they waste our time. Okay, it's as simple as that. If they see us, they waste our time. How do we solve that? We just don't let them see us. It's as simple as that. Like I said, I've had friends that has found yellow screwdrivers here, so it is worth it. I, I, me personally, I'm just not very lucky with it, that's all. Just have to get into cover here. Um, just have to make loot space here quickly, guys. Remember your clothing. Your clothing is meant for light items. Always remember that. Clothing is meant for light items. So I can put that in there. Put that in there. Okay, now I can get that thing, and now I can get out. You see, they just, just go on reach when they see you. They just go on reach for a second when they see you. And if they shoot you for long enough, they'll start shooting. Whoa! Ah! Sorry. That's what... That wasn't wise. Okay, let's just run. Okay, so I think I got about five screwdrivers, M82, full vehicle repair kit, night vision, and I didn't open up a locker. Rip, please, believe it or not. Okay, let's get to the motocross track.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen. How do I loot the the motocross track? I'll show you right now. And yo yeah, guys, I'm gonna teach you to to fill up your car with our chests. The the unhappiest I've ever heard a player be is because something happened to their vehicle or their vehicle fell through the floor or something like that and they had a ton of loot in the vehicle. So I want you guys to start training yourself to never put a chest in your vehicle. Okay? Fill up your vehicle and by the time your vehicle's full, go and sell the loot so that you are never unhappy. Okay? I'm gonna adapt that as well. <laughs> I'm gonna have to collect a few bobby pins as well. I do search the cars, okay? Depending on the pop, yeah? Depending on the server's population, how many players are on the server. Um, yeah, I'll decide what, what I wanna search and what I don't wanna search. But this is my standard loot truth. Okay, bow, 100 pound ballista there. Um, thread. Of course, the car makes a lot, when you search the cars, it makes a lot of noise. I like the white little buildings. Like I said, I like the white little buildings because you can find a pistol. Here. Okay. My handgun skill isn't too bad. My dexterity is getting higher, so I'm doing everything faster. So I loot the trucks basically. And we've got a cargo drop. We definitely, definitely want to get to the cargo drop. Okay, so the trucks. The trucks are one of my priorities. These little white houses is another priority because you can find pistols in there. So you can just look, no pistol. You can loot them very, very, very fast. Okay? No pistol on the desk. Of course, you can get bobby pins there as well. You can get um, rubbing alcohol and stuff there. But the white buildings are usually my priority just to check if I can get a pistol. No pistol in there. to try and do this with single loading i feel i'm feeling very fast with the single loading and then if we don't have to single load we don't so have some fun As you guys can see with certain puppet settings, you can make things a lot very interesting and target practice. Okay. Have a lot of fun in between. Okay. Just have a lot of fun in between. Um, so there's nothing. I usually just check here for um, absinthe, you know, or a two liter bottle. Two liter bottle can help you with calories and water. And then usually just go through the boxes very quickly. Oh my word. That's a great find. Brilliant for your base. And just press the tab every now and then. You never know if something is lying on the floor. Check here, nothing. Basically just looking for boxes and stuff in my vicinity. 
again. Being quick is my priority. I can make a suppressor out of that, but I've got enough money to buy a suppressor, okay? So, but if you don't have enough money to buy a suppressor, and you remember what I said about puppets and sound, then you would rather want to craft the suppressor, okay? Then just scan through here quickly. I have found a yellow here, guys. It's just not as prevalent. Okay. And then I quickly go through the trucks. <laughs> of course, if I was using a suppressor now, it would be much better. But I mean, this area isn't very big. So a player's going to hear you, even if you're using a suppressor. A player's going to hear you. And over time, you learn what you can loot. Like, I know this is one unit. I know this is one unit. I know this is one unit. So I don't have to search every single box. Okay? So as you learn, you're going to loot. You're going to be more sufficient with looting as well. Definitely hear this pops in here. I know this is one unit. This is one unit. This is one unit. Doesn't help me searching every box here. It's not gonna help. Duct tape. You never know. Yes, we don't want to get it. And with the strategy I'm gonna teach you guys, we probably won't. But uh, you know what they say about assumption, eh? You guys know what they say about assumption. And all these boxes have a chance to give you something good, guys. Just the percentages are low, okay? But you could get lucky. You could get lucky. Okay. That took us about eight minutes from start to finish. And here, the, the red toolboxes are my focus point, okay? Red toolboxes are always my focus point. Whether I'm getting um, toolboxes, red screwdrivers, yellow screwdrivers, I don't care. I don't. If I'm in a rush, I will skip everything and just loot the red toolboxes. Okay, depending on how many people are on the server, what kind of rush I'm in. Okay, because after a while, you know what what loot spawns where. Okay, after a while. Just in case. I think I have one. But just in case. So that one's closed. Box underneath there as well. That has given me a yellow. I think I've got one of those already. Well, if they keep on giving it to me, it's great so that I can level up demolition with a practice bomb. And toolboxes have definitely been up guys like maybe they changed the toolbox spawn rates because of the bases that have a lot more base parts at the moment but i do feel that toolboxes are um are a lot more i mean you guys know i'm playing on vanilla loot you know so 
the other car the, 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 the loot one was on a completely different single player character and I did change my single player settings back to vanilla. So these are vanilla. You guys can see I'm not getting loot everywhere. So it's purely just luck. And when you find a yellow, that's purely luck as well. But you won't get that luck if you don't repeat the process. Every time you search one of these, they can give you a yellow screwdriver. You're going to have to loot a lot of them to get the percentages to work in your favor. And sometimes, some days, you're going to walk out here with like four yellow screwdrivers. That's happened to me once. So some, some of the days, you'll get really, 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 really lucky. And like even the even the vehicle repair kits are seeming a lot more than what they used to be. A lot more than what they used to be. I do need know I need a battery for the practice bomb as well. And I used to um, forget about that crate. Don't forget about that crate, guys. Very easy to forget about that crate. And now I'm just gonna climb up here. We can just have a gander. You can sometimes find a hiking backpack or a backpack up here. Okay. I just like to have a little gander. See? Backpack. But this could have been... There's a backpack spawn here that can be a hiking backpack. And there's a backpack spawn on that roof that could be a hiking backpack. Okay. Okay. So anytime you see like a little station like this here, could be could be a hiking backpack. And then we just get off like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, so we got a few screwdrivers there. Now we're gonna go to the cargo drop. So I'll see you guys now. Okay. And now that we're doing the cargo drop, we can quickly check how many screwdrivers we've collected so far. And I'm thinking anywhere anywhere near 80 is more than enough for me. More than enough. And like I told you guys, it's better to prepare this beforehand, especially on a multiplayer server. You want to do this before you think the cargo drop is going to happen. So you don't waste time doing this inside the cargo drop. Okay? But I'm getting a bit lazy. Of course, we are in a single-player experience. Okay, we've got eight minutes left. We've got 38 screwdrivers. If I get a yellow, I'm gonna be happy, guys. If I get one yellow, I'll be happy. Fantastic for a kill box. Or a, or base rating with the with the medical gloves. Gilly suit, that's worth money. Mines to protect your base. Trap your base area. Don't trap the map. That's toxic. Uh, pistol kit. It's ammo. That's all I care about. And I've, I've only got a crafted. I've only got a crafted holster. So that's ammo, which we can use for the power plant, which is great. Medical equipment. I don't think we're going to get lucky. Don't think it's going to be a lucky day. Oh, uh, well, except if you see a weapon repair kit as lucky day. But that's it. The more cargo drops you loot, the more you'll have a chance to find red screwdrivers. Okay. Or yellow ones. So, let's go sell, airfield, scrapyard, let's go. Now, let's What's think up? a bit tactically here. Guns Finding an item like this is very, very Obviously. lucky. But we can only sell it for 3387 bucks. But because of that repair kit that we did, because we were active on the map, what we can do now is literally repair it... We can literally repair it because of the weapon repair kit that we got, okay? So now, that M82 
goes from 3,300 to 7,500. Okay? Major, major, major difference. That thing registered. <laughs> Kidding. Um, Nobody cares. Okay, that I need to sell somewhere else. Just looking for the night vision quickly because I know the night vision sells for quite a lot. Let's put the night vision. Put the night vision there. To make sure is that our only night vision? Yeah, that's our only night vision. I'm happy with the money that I've got at the moment, guys. Guns come really unloaded. happy with the money that Security I've got that at the moment. Registered. <laughs> yeah, that gives me twelve thousand no, bucks. Um, so what I need now is a suppressor. I don't know why the caps lock is on. So we're gonna go M16. That's the gun that we have. We're gonna buy two more magazines. No, let's let's go insane. Okay. We're gonna buy. Four more magazines. Guns then come we're unloaded. Gonna buy a Security suppressor. reasons. Obviously. And we don't see a 556 five, suppressor here. So we're just going to get an M MK18 suppressor, which sh should fit fine on, yep, on that gun. So that's sorted. Further Guns than come that, unloaded. what I want Security is a reasons. sight. Obviously. I like that sight for the M16. And then I think it's the Sentry. Is it the Sentry? I think it's the Sentry. But it's fine. Okay. So basically now, I can put that sight on the gun. Hmm. Okay, I was just, I was just like in, what just happened? Okay, so there's our pistol. We put the sentry. Yep, it's just the, it's just a nice dot. The sentry just gives you a nice clear dot, which is very, very nice. And then we've got the suppressor. We've got that. Now I'm just gonna load all the magazines quickly, and then, yeah, do the thing. I still need at least 80 screwdrivers. Hopefully we can get close to 80. But we're going to use whatever we have. Yeah. Once we've done the airfield and the scrapyard, we're going to use whatever we have.
Okay, guys, let's do this quickly. Very, very, very quickly. So to loot these guys very quickly, you loot both sides. And of course, this is going to be much faster when we're just looking for something specific. And it's basically every 10 cars that you can search. Okay, every 10 cars. And I'm just trying to do this as fast as I possibly can. Just looking for a screwdriver. Not interested in anything else. Just the screwdrivers. Medium rifle skill. Very, very, very nice. two rows here so let's get it done quickly this is nothing guys this is nothing i know for new players that will be something but like i say you ain't seen nothing yet and the power plant like we always always thought the big city was the danger zone but i mean the big city is a bit split up the power plant is very very condensed in certain areas okay Definitely a little condensed. Just gotta make sure I don't miss anything. And you guys get it. You know, I think we've done this already, so I don't think I need to give you guys a glimpse. But I am giving you guys a glimpse of what you can get here. And if this player is around, I'll never get on top of the cars. I'll go search the one side, then the other side. But... Since we're in a bit of a hurry, let's do it the fast way. Although it's not always the fast way, because you, you do get stuck, which is a bit irritating. Get some stamina back. Let's take an engine drink. Why not? Get our performance score boosted up again. We're going to need the energy. What do you mean by that, Matthias? Well, when you go to your performance score now, you'll see that the performance score is increasing because of the energy, boost of energy. Okay? So you're just taking a lot less strain and using a lot less stamina. Okay, now these ones. Let's do it the fast way. That we don't have to jump around. Wait, 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 wait. That was a sharpening stone. Sharpening stone is nice. This is the safer way. 
and the less irritating way because it's quite irritating when you get stuck all the time. And now we can search both sides so long. You guys can see thread, axes. No, but I think I've shown you guys this before. So we're just quickly going to see yeah, how lucky can you be with one run. And it doesn't seem like we're going to get very, very lucky with one run. Definitely doesn't seem that way. Yeah, we're basically done. We've got that little office down there. But that little office is never... Um, I like the baseball bat. The baseball bat's the nicest melee weapon, you know. Let's take that. We take the broken nail. We craft the bat with nails. We can always use it as a backup. Like, if we run out of ammo or something, guys. We can always use it as a backup. Got the bat with nails again. And who knows? Maybe our favorite office. Like all of these cars have a chance to give you guys something. Okay? You can search all the bloody cars. Every vehicle has got a chance to give you a, ye a yellow screwdriver. Let's beat this guy up. I want to beat them up. I want to beat the. I want to beat you guys up, man. You ready for the champ? You ready for the champ? Oh my word. Oh my word. What is my... Okay, my targeting is on manual. So I'm happy. Two white houses. And a car spawn. That's nice. Just, okay, no. These don't have the desks. So, but, yeah, there's shoes and stuff in there. Like a spawn right here. And I don't go upstairs, guys. Although, upstairs can give me a few more bobby pins. That's the only reason I go upstairs. Upstairs can give me a few more bobby pins. <laughs> I'm not, not hitting very hard. Although these can give you yellows as well. You could get lucky with yellows. All these boxes can give you yellows. Hmm. Nice, man. Noise, 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 noise. And reds. Cargo drop. But I actually just wanted the bobby pins. Actually just looking for the bobby pins in the desks. There we go. Smooth looting. There we go. That's what it looks like when a plan gets comes together. I've got about 80. That's more than enough. I could just quickly go down here. Okay, I actually wanted to like drop down here. Then open up this. There we go. See if there's anyone else here. Not for now, so let's loot. I'm not gonna ignore the I'm not gonna ignore the duct tape. I know I'm confident that I'm not gonna get hit, but last time it was last time it was scary and I'm gonna show you guys the safe way, but then I'm gonna do the exciting way. Okay. 
I am going to tell you guys how to do it safely. But I want to end the video with a bit of action. So that's what I'm going to do. Show you guys how fun a single player experience can be. With the right settings. Or just a nice peaceful learning curve where people aren't killing you and raiding you and you have to start over. If I look at how much brand new players struggle, guys, I'm starting to think like single player is a must. If you, you know, if you if you don't want to spoil this game for yourself, the first day or two that you play it, then single player is very important. Um, if you get triggered easily, you know, if what people say about you can affect you, um, you know, and just the way if it affects you the way other people play when they don't play like you want them to play a lot of factors that can um spoil this game for you before you have any clue what you know what it has to offer so let's go to the b0 bunker and get that hazmat suit Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the B0 bunker. Let's get in here. If I'm right, this road leads... Yeah, I think the bunker door's on that side. Yeah, the bunker door's on that side. That was one of my favorite bunkers. Tend to make a lot of mistakes here. But we can always try new things, can't we? We can always try new things. Hmm, how am I gonna get rid of you? All you have to do is I ask. All you have to do is ask, buddy. And I'll do so. Yeah, I think I'm gonna come in from this side. Just have to be careful of this meg up here. This make up there usually sees me. If I can just get into the bush, I'll be fine. What's my stealth skill at? I think I can do this. I think I can do this. Now let's do this.
Okay, guys. Okay, we are just gonna go for the hazmat suit. That's it. That's it. Hopefully not waste a lot of screwdriver uses. Nine shots. Okay, let's do this. Line one. I don't know where the exploder is. I have to look, check my corners. <laughs> Hopefully the beeper was upstairs. That's what I'm hoping for. Hopefully it was upstairs. He will explode on his own time. Give him a chance to explode. There we go. And he is in the room that we're going to need to lock quick here. So it's a silver lock. I'm going to use the advanced lock picks that I got just so that my chances are better. Lie down just for the FPS thing. Now let's see if we can open this. That's close. Oh, I have to move a little bit more than that. I have to move a move. Move a little bit more than that. There we go. Sometimes we just get lucky. Oh, and we get a uranium container now. Interesting. Interesting, man. Maybe this is just on single player. Very difficult to do this in multiplayer. But I think these take 10 or something like that. I don't know. But in any case, we're not going to put this on right now, buddy. We're not going to put this on right now. Okay. So for now, we take it off. And then you can just put on your clothing again. That will help me quite a bit. And then we're just going to put the... Let's see here. We're going to put the milk here. Is the milk too heavy? Yeah, everything is a bit too heavy at the moment. Okay, well, we can put the screwdrivers there. That should give us space. There we go. That's it. That's the only reason I've come in here. Okay. Don't know why my night vision isn't working. I'm not wearing night vision. That's bad.
now we just want to check for this meg behind cover where is this meg? oh here he comes I can't see him, he can't see me. I can't see him in first person, he can't see me. Now let's sprint. Without the gun in our hand. And there we go. Now... The only difference between the vintage hazmat suit and the yellow one is that with the yellow one you sacrifice camouflage because the vintage suit is a little bit more you know but less easier to see but with the yellow one you can wear your tactical vest and not only is your tactical vest priceless in saving your life from pvp it also gives you more inventory slots although we're going to take the hiking backpack with us so we're fine um, I usually like to come in from the bottom guys, but uh, my word, you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go in. We're just gonna go in. stop before we get there okay this isn't really a great hiding spot but you guys get the drift okay hide, hide your vehicle properly there's also not a great hiding spot but it's fine okay so now when we put this on, we know what we can't take with us. But we must take with us what we can take with us, which is, of course, the screwdrivers. We don't want the milk. Um, we just going to focus on the uranium. So that's fine. I'm going to put on the put on that. Um, not going to wear the boots. That magazine is empty, but I can load it. Come on, isn't that 0.45? No, that's nine more. Okay, well. Doesn't really matter. Put this on. No, put take the magazines with us, take the screwdrivers with us. And like I said, we can't take the armor. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. Okay. I need to put it in the vehicle somewhere. Um, there we go. So we can't put on the night vision. No, we can't put on the night vision. So we don't need the night vision. Okay, first of all, we don't need the sharpening stone. Um, we, I am going to drink the painkillers now because you can't eat anything inside there. So I'm going to eat all the painkillers now. So that they can be in my system when I need them. And then I'm sure we've got a knife here. Yeah, let's open up that. Oh, we don't need to open it up. We can just eat all. Again, you can't eat and you can't drink. So make sure your water and your food isn't too bad. Okay. And as soon as that painkiller percentage goes to 100%, that then even if I get hurt, I won't start jogging. Okay, I won't start jogging. 
Okay, let's forget about the helmet. And this is the thing, guys. We've got no armor. If we get hit, we need some deep shit. Okay, some deep shit. And the other thing is you can't run. I'm scrolling my mouse wheel forward now. You cannot run. That is extremely, extremely, extremely dangerous. But in any case, um, uh, man, just put the alcohol there. I'm going to unpack this now. Okay, I'll be back now. I'm going to unpack all the bobby pins and then craft the lockpicks and then turn them into bundle of improvised lockpicks. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what I can tell you right off the bat is this is the power plant. This is where we want to go, right there, okay? The majority of the puppets are in the middle of the power plant, so in front of the power plant, the majority of them, okay? Now, there will be a bunch of puppets here. You've got no armor on, you know, you guys know that on single player, the puppet actions or animations are really, really fast, so it's more difficult to deal with AI in single player than in multiplayer because there's no delays um but how you do this is completely up to you but if you don't want to die here you're going to have to use very very specific tactics now your first tactic is to get into an enclosed space i'm going to get my gun out now i'm going to check the ammo my my initial okay nine bullets that's not good shift r okay 31 so my initial thought is just to attract as many as many of them as i can uh, in an enclosed environment or on a on a on a high piece that I don't think they can get to okay so very high ground that I think they can't get to might be a good idea but it's very very care it's very very important that you are aware that you can't run okay and that is what's gonna kill you the fact that you can't run is going to kill you but i want to attract most of the puppets because we want to go around that corner okay that's where i want to go but you need to be careful you need to be careful you have to have to use stealth oh and another thing is Another thing is this took a very long time to jog from here to there took a very very long time Always enter from the west or the north. Okay, except if you're coming in with a car then you can come in from any angle But if you're worried about how long things take Never come in from the south it takes very very long Remember you can still use bushes to your advantage You can still use the environment to your advantage Now I want to see if I can get on top of this truck gonna be very difficult but I think I can maybe do it no I can't but there's always more ways than more ways than there's always more ways to do something figuring out how to do something is very very important Okay, using your brain is very, very, very important. Now I want to clear this area out. And 
and they can't jump on you. That's the big thing. They can't jump on you. So as long as they can't jump, I'm going to take my suppressor off and shoot. So I can attract more of them. I want to go in there. Don't think any of them has got an angle on me. I don't think the blast got an angle on me. <laughs> Just gonna lie down to make sure. Okay. Okay. Tactics. Tactics are very, 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 very important. Okay. Very, very, very important. Okay, so let's go. You want to go in here? And again, we can't run, so we don't really have a choice. You've got a suppressor, so you're fine. You want to go straight down this hole. Straight down the hall till you hit the wall. Then you want to go straight up as far as you can. Almost there. As soon as you can't go up anymore, just go to the other wall and go up again. As soon as you can't go up anymore, open this door. Okay? And you'll be at the main core reactor. Now, I just want to tell you guys, there's a lot of high places in front. You can loot this entire place. There's quite a lot of loot in this entire place. Just make sure you get to high ground. There's a lot of ways to get to high ground. I want you to make sure you get to higher ground, okay? It's crucial. Um, not really on official servers, you know, but doing a few tactical things isn't bad at all. Teaching yourself a few tactical things isn't bad at all. And here yeah, you just want to fall off here, okay? Move to the side, or just jump on here. And you can just go over here. Fall down here, fall down here. And here, here you are, at the uranium, okay? So, I'm gonna uncraft bundle and see how many we can get of course it's going to be a lot more difficult because the hazmat suit counts as a rubber glove so the sweet spot's going to be smaller but luckily it's bronze lock so it shouldn't be the end of the world is a lot more difficult than it used to be. It, it is. It is a lot more difficult. I don't know if it's because we've got advanced, because we've got medium thievery, but it does feel a lot. It's, 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 it's breaking a lot faster, guys. 
breaking a heck of a lot fast. Now we've got medium thievery, which will help us most of the time. And we're leveling up our thievery, but this is difficult. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's breaking quite soon. I feel they made this more difficult. Because I've done this before and it wasn't this difficult. Maybe the difference here is advanced thievery. I don't know, but that was a complete waste, guys. Maybe the difference last time was advanced thievery. How many tries have we got left? We've only got three screwdrivers left. I, I'm going to pick up some radiation now. Because this is, this is something you can do. So you can do this. Okay. You can do that and then do it without. And then it's definitely a lot easier. Okay. It's a lot easier. But I mean... Uh, as soon as you put the hazmat on, you're okay. You know, you can get rid of that with potassium and with uh, peeing. You can get rid of that radiation and that effective radiation with potassium and just empty your bladder. Okay, but in any case, um, I do feel they made they made the the these. I don't know. I just feel they made the hazmat suit lock picking a lot harder, guys. I don't know if it's got to do with my settings, but they definitely, definitely made a lot harder. Okay. Now we could have gotten a red screwdriver, so I'm just gonna see if we can do this. I'm gonna spawn in a red screwdriver. Just for tests. Can we survive if we do it like this? Okay. So I'm gonna spawn item. Screwdriver. Okay. And we're just gonna see. We're just gonna see. Is it better to take off the hazmat suit? Of course it's better. Okay. But can you survive it? So let's do it. It's definitely easier. It's definitely easier. I think my mouse is a my mouse is a little bit too slow. Okay, so got nothing there. Let me quickly do this one here. Whoopsie. We need we need all of this. We can just take this with us. What? Does it have something in it? Okay, we can just take this with us. I'm sure you guys can see a difference. And now, we can just drag these out and put them in the in the depleted uranium container. And I think this thing can take can take quite a few. That's two so far. Go. it's definitely easier guys definitely 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 easier okay and then when you go through here you just go through this through this through the smoke and then behind this door is going to be the others okay behind this door it's going to be the others that you need to open up and i left the bobby pins there okay just for experimental purposes lock let's see if we loot enough cargo drops how this will feel this gives ourselves six of them okay let's see ok 
Okay, advanced clock peaks helps a heck of a lot. Helps a heck of a lot. I think I think that long advanced lock picks is what counters the fact that you haven't got advanced thievery. Advanced thievery is going to help a lot, but that's not what we have in the build. So let's see how this goes. We saw how the beginning went. Okay, that was just lucky. No, this is a lot easier. This is a lot easier. Getting a little bit of lag. Yeah, it's going to be better if we lie down. Just for that little bit of extra. Okay, we're getting more FPS when we lie down. So this will be easier. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, yeah, a lot more time. It definitely doesn't break so fast, which makes a major difference. The fact that it's not breaking so fast makes a massive difference. Okay, I ran out of mouse pad space there. Okay, there I just missed it. Okay. Fine movement, fine movement. You need to work out your sensitivity. It's a bit sad with the percentages that they're giving us here. That's quite sad. Okay, now now he's destroying my suit. So now, no, it didn't. It didn't destroy the suit. <laughs> because I'm not wearing the suit. That's great. And not getting any luck with these, eh? Ah, oh, come on. Okay. Okay, guys, so that was a fun experiment. Let's let's just spawn in another one. Um, yeah. Have a little bit more fun here. Oh, it's a screwdriver. Sorry, it's a screwdriver that we don't have anymore. Yeah, oh, this is a lot this is a lot easier. A lot easier guys i couldn't for the life of me i couldn't get anything right down now so advanced lock picking is going to be the secret and of course having better lock picks is going to be a major secret as well okay going to be a major part of it but as you guys can see med medium thievery is enough if you just loot if you just loot for the right equipment That's why I said I thought I needed about a hundred. Oh, I don't know where that sweet spot was. There we go. And take that out, take these out, put that in there. Damn, went the wrong way there. Yeah, a lot easier, guys. A lot easier. L luck is a major factor now as well. Luck is a major factor now as well. And there's quite a lot of them there. Yeah, okay. We at A are... Okay, we're dead. We're basically dead. We are basically already dead, guys. We just don't know it. We are dead. Hmm, we're dead.
if we came in here with Phoenix tears. Okay, Phoenix tears you can get from the bunkers, medical lockers. So you can be a lot more prepared. Okay, because we're dead with where we are now. But if we do this, if we've just got Phoenix tears, which will take, take you a while when you open up those medical lockers and bunkers. But if you do this, that means you're dead. Fast ARSC1, you're dead. But with Phoenix tears, you're not. Okay, so with Phoenix Tears, you can lock pick without the hazmat suit on. That makes it very, very difficult for you. Or you have to have advanced thievery to make it a lot easier for you. But even if you've got advanced thievery, guys, it will make it easier. Or uh, all you can see is that it's extremely difficult to do it with the hazmat suit on. So it looks like Phoenix Tears is probably going to be needed. I do feel, I mean, I've never struggled with lockpicking in single player. So I do feel, you know, that they changed something um, regarding that. But I hope you enjoyed the tactics that I used against the puppets. Um, I hope you guys come up with your own ideas. But remember, you're working with something that's not very intelligent and you are very intelligent. So use that to your advantage. And then when it comes to PvP, you're working with another intelligent person, but I mean, you know, you can work out strategies there as well. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, do me a favor and click that like button. And if you're not subscribed yet and you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about Scum, then cl please click the subscribe button. And like I say, two brand new servers coming um, within the next week, okay? Um, for for new players and for members only and then of course i'm going to make um the out uh, the my my personal best guide um on the learning curve where i'm not going to compete with the new players but i'm going to make the guide on that server because that server is going to be basically an official server okay so a lot of things planned for the future love you all thank you all for the support if you've got anything that you want to add to what happened here, leave it in the comments below. And I'll see you guys probably tomorrow or Sunday with the last video in the handbook, which will cover base building. If there's anything major that you are still very confused about and that you want me to answer for you, please leave it in the comments below. Then I can maybe, maybe put that into the video as well. Okay. Have a great day, guys. Cheers.